Hello again. All right, so we're doing the last problem from the significant figures in Ansel's 13th edition. This is for University of Toledo's PHPR 3010. So we're going to perform the following computations and retain only significant figures in the results. So um, let's go back to what are our rule of zeros, or you can say, well, so before, between, behind. So before, are those zeros significant? No. Between, yes. Behind, for this book, yes, but it's a maybe. So, um, for this first one, we have three significant figures, and this is before, so those are not significant, and then one significant figure. Uh, but, uh, according to the book, uh, these are three significant figures as well. So, when you calculate this, uh, you'll come up with 6.382. Um, oh wait, no, 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 this isn't a significant figure problem. This is an estimation problem. That's right. So the one with the lowest decimal place, which is there, that's the one that you use. So when you round, uh, you have six, point uh three eight because that's a two and we know our roundings and the reason for this is because uh, when you're measuring something this is the more accurate measurement and that really doesn't have that significant of a role and so that's how you come to this is that this one really doesn't impact that that much um but you have to show it Show your work, people. It helps. All right, and then so, and so this next one, you take 7.01 minus 6, and you get 1.01. .01. And so there's two significant figures, because there's a decimal point. Um, so that shows that those are significant. And then there's a zero in between, and that's always significant. So there's only... So that's three and two, so you go with the one with the least. So you end up with 1.0 for your answer on that one. Then this next one is five times 48.3 grams. Uh, so that one is going to be uh, 241 point five. But we have three significant figures here and two significant figures there. So we go with the one with the least, so that's 240, because that is a one. Uh, and then this one, you have two significant figures there and two significant figures there. But when you take 24 times uh, 0.25 grams, you get six. But because you have two significant figures, six. Point zero to show the accuracy. Uh, so this one is 56.824 divided by 0 0.0905. So when you take this one, you're going to get 627.8895027 dot 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 dot. It's just going to go on forever. So you look at the sig figs. This one has five. This one has three. So you're going to go to the third one. And so you're going to round from that number to this number. So it's two or 628 for that one. Uh, then on, I keep changing colors when nobody showed me that. Okay, on this last one, uh, it's 250 divided by 1.109. Uh, 
Uh, so with this one, you're going to get 225.428313, and it keeps going on. So for this one, you have four significant figures, possibly two, but for the purposes of this book, it is three. So for three significant figures, uh, the next number is a four. So four, we don't round that number up. We just keep it the same. So it's 225. And there you go. That is your last problem for your homework.